Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a search field on your Divi secondary menu. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to do this. So what we're going to need to add our search feature is a bit of uh, PHP code and also some CSS code to style it. Now, if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will include a link to our post in the show notes below. All right, so let's start by adding our secondary menu. So what I'm going to do here is to come over here to Divi, click on a theme customizer. I'm going to come here to header and navigation, click on header elements, and I'm going to click on show social icons, and I'm just going to add a number, and this will be your phone number. So it can be, you know, whatever your phone number is. And then for your email address, I'll just add my email address here and again this is where you want to add your email address so for now I'm just gonna click on save and publish okay now right now we don't see anything but if I refresh this page you'll notice that we have this um, bar now added to the top and also what you could do is if you'd like to customize this um, add a different color to it you just go back into header and navigation and this time you need to go to secondary menu bar now this is where you get to add your background color if you want to increase the text you can increase it to about maybe you know 16 it's all up to you but this is where you make all your customizations so for now i'm just going to click on save and publish okay so i'm going to come out of this next we need to add this uh, php code onto our header.php so what we need to do is to come over here to appearance and click on editor okay so if we take a look over here to the right if we scroll down, we need to find header.php. So here it is. I'm going to click once on it, and it brings the contents of header.php. Right, so what we need to do next is to add our PHP code. So what I've done here is I've searched for this div. So this is where you ideally want to have this PHP code. Now, what I've done here is I just searched for ET secondary menu because this is where it needs to be. So I'm just going to enter once, and then I'm going to paste my PHP code. Right, so next I'm going to click on update. So what I'd like to do here now is to check if my uh, search is added. So I've just opened a new tab. And I can see here that my search is added. So that's pretty cool. Now, this is just standard. What we need to do is to style it. So this is where now we get to add our CSS code. So let's do that. So for now, I'm going to close this because this is all done. I'm just going to click update file one more time just to make sure. And then I'm going to come here to Divi theme customizer. And then I'm going to come all the way here to additional CSS to add our CSS code. So all I have to do now is to add my CSS code. And now you can see it's styled. And this is the reason why I prefer adding my CSS code here uh, where I can see my uh, preview. So you can see now that it's, it's been styled. We have rounded corners in there, a bit of a drop shadow, and our search button is now black. Now, you can come in here and also customize these colors. So if you want your background color for your button to change, you can always change it here. It's much, much easier to do that. Okay, so that's all you have to do. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.